Well, I'm just going to go ahead and say welcome. Thank you, everyone, for coming. This is going to be a super fun night. I've already seen what Stacy has created in the past, like for fall, and and she's on the star team. She's super creative. I love, honestly, everything she puts together. So you guys are in for a real sweet treat. So <laughs> Stacy, um, I will post her Instagram information in the chat here in a little bit but make sure you follow her if you're not already, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hand it over. So take it away. Okay, so we'll go ahead and um, let's take a look at the book, the memory album that I put together and I did a really quick uh, flash through on my reels, um, but I wanted to kind of go through uh, some of the you know, techniques and things that I did inside this book. and. It is Halloween themed. It's uh, really referred to as an October daily. And I am no means the expert. I did not come up with this. Um, in fact, I was inspired by Sarah from Creating with Sarah. Um, she was doing a October daily, had inspiration from uh, what they call out in the scrapbook community, a December daily. Um, I don't know about you, but I work full time. I have three daughters. I don't have time to memory keep daily. So instead I just took, um, you know, memories throughout the month of October and put them into this book. So all of this um, material is basically scrapbook paper, um, what they call ephemera. These are, um, Oh my gosh, uh, like glitter borders that are from the Planner Society. And so what I did with this book was just take different elements and um, I took a sheet of mini happy plate, mini happy planner filler paper and just cut them to size. So I didn't have to like, recreate or figure out what size book I wanted to do. I knew that I had something that was like the starting piece. And if I wanted to later journal, I could take um, sheets of happy planner paper and insert in those. So um, this was the inspiration for it. And if you guys want to take a screenshot, um, this is uh, the size that we'll sort of be working with. Um, so four and five eighths is the width of um, one sheet of paper, and then the height is seven. And I'll show you a technique where we use this nine and a quarter width, but basically this is the inspiration for it. Um, so some of these techniques also come from Heidi Swap. She's also in the um, scrapbook community. She does a lot of memory planning. Um, she does like journals and things like that. So um, this was like a paper pad kit that had different uh, elements in it. So I took um, just little pieces and journaled. And then so starting with um, the first date of October that I actually memory keeped was the 23rd. So I didn't get too far into the month uh, or too early into the month, it was the 23rd. And so the 23rd just represents, um, you know, the dates that we had some uh, events or things to memory keep. So I just uh, printed pictures out, um, pasted them in there. So I've got the 23rd repeated again. And so I just took different elements of paper and stuck them in there. And then um, I created some pockets so you can take you know, an image from a scrapbook paper, cut it down and you just kind of glue it around the corners. And if you've got um, a hole punch, you can punch half a circle. So you can get these at like Joann's and stuff. And you're only gonna slide the paper in kind of halfway to, to make this little notch so that you can pull things in and out. So this is like a tag that I just pasted two pictures back to back and you just slide it in. So it's kind of interactive. Um, it's fun for the kids to kind of look back on. Um, you can also 
glue two sheets back to back. And this is kind of what these measurements are here and do the same thing and create a pocket. So like if I had um, tickets, like for, for example, if you were going to Disneyland and you've got tickets from your entry, which they, I don't know if they do that anymore, it's probably all digital, but you can create a pocket and insert more pictures in there as well. And, um, you know, you've got puffy stickers, so there's some height to them. Uh, let's see. I've done some where there's like um, open pages. So, you know, you're going to cut your page to be double the size, score it down the middle, and then you can create like a, a pocket that opens up interactive. So you can, you can essentially fit more into one section or make it so that everything kind of stays within that date. That was my intention here was we had a Halloween party on the 30th and I wanted to capture all the pictures and memories that were associated with that. Um, this one here, the school had a drive-through um, trick-or-treat. So this was the image in our, um, we have like a school app where they give us, uh, you know, updates and things like that. So I just took a screenshot and printed it and cut it out so that I could memory keep that piece in there too. Um, and then this one's just a little window, um, you know, again, piece of paper that I cut down. This one, you can glue on all four sides, although it's coming up a little bit here. And then this is just a tag um, that I just cut and stuck a picture in there did it over and stuck it in the pocket. And let's see what else. Here, again, this is like what they call ephemera or journaling cards. So on the other side, there's a journaling piece. And I just made this little tab that you could tuck in the picture and then tuck it back in. And there you go. So that was my Halloween one. So what I started was to pull together um, another album that for now is on pretty small disc. It, it might get thicker as I build the pages, but this is the starting piece. And so I wanted to kind of show you some of the elements that I'm, I'm gonna start using to build it together. So I have, um, to start with, I've got some, um, it's kind of like acetate. So it's that thicker type of clear, well, obviously this one has like gold on it. But again, I just took this, you know, happy planner paper and cut it to size. So this is going to be my cover. Now, mind you, if you have a regular happy planner, those covers are slightly bigger. And so you could certainly take, you know, an old Happy Planner cover and cut that bigger because you can see it's a little bit off there, but I don't mind that it's you know, the same size. Save me one. Save me one. Um, and then, um, I don't know if any of you subscribe to or purchase Simply Gilded, but she uh, always includes um, what she refers to as a journaling card. So I took one here that, so my, my album again is gonna be summer themed and I really liked this um, flamingo. I have a punch that it's like a, I think they call these ticket corners. So I punched the corner and inserted these brads and I'm going to um, affix it to this piece of cardstock. Again, cut down just to fit the happy, happy planner paper. So um, I have my glue stick out here. Um, so I'm just going to it doesn't have to be like absolutely 
actually, before I tape this down, I want to punch it. So I'm going to put that aside. I don't want to tape it down yet because if I go to punch it, the card stock might get in the way. So this is going to be just, again, building the elements of my front page. And so I'm going to punch it on this side. And then when you open the book, um, this is another fun thing that I like to do with um, my happy planners, my mini on the go happy planner, because I have a ton of washi. I don't know if you're like me, I'm a little bit of a collector. So I like to see the washi and build on, um, I, I'm a huge fan of Simply Gilded. So I like to build on her collections that she puts together. So um, I pulled some washi together and, and they, they basically call this like a washi dashboard. So I just kind of lay it down and, and fill the page until I get to the bottom. Some people will do it like, like crosswise, some of it will do it as an angle. It's totally up to you, but it's a really fun way to use up your washi. So that's gonna be my front cover. And then I did the same thing for my back cover. So that's gonna build um, my planner right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my punch. And um, I'm sure most of you have, you know, happy, happy planner punch. So again, it makes it really easy just to use the paper. You know you're gonna get the right size. You don't have to figure out like how many holes and, and making sure that you line it up because you're using the same size for every piece of element that you're adding. So I'm gonna... Okay, so this one might be a little bit tricky. I don't know if, what your experience is with these punches, but sometimes they don't go through the acetate. So um, Chrissy shared on her stories, they have a new, um, is it We Are Memory Keepers? And it's the um, disc cinch. This one is really, yeah. <laughs> I was really close to ordering that, Chrissy. <laughs> Until I saw the price, I was like, oh, I think I better, I better wait on that one. But in the meantime, I have another happy, or not happy, but a We Are Memory Keepers punch. So this is, um, they call it disc. They also refer to it as the mushroom punch because the holes look like a mushroom. And um, this one works pretty good uh, for punching through like acetate. But the tricky part is lining it up. So I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. And if you can tell, I mean, it's just like, you know, cutting through it really, 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 really quickly. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Um, for me and Chrissy, I don't know if you have one of these, but um, the part I struggle with is um, just getting started with it. Yeah, because so what I do usually is I'll take a planner cover and I'll line it up to the planner cover. And if I have like, you know, a, a water-based marker or something and I'll color oh, in okay. the punch and then use that as my guide and then just, you know. There you go. I suppose you could use like a dry erase marker too, but. Yeah, that's a good, that's a really good uh, suggestion. I apologize if you can hear my kids screaming in the background. <laughs> okay, so now I can put my cover back on. And I'm just gonna line that up. And build my elements here. So let me just, snap this on the back and then we'll go through the inserts. That's going to be my back. That's going to be my front page. And this, you know, these projects can take as little or as long as you want because you can do 
so many things and you could build and build and build and build and that's what's so fun about these projects but um i'll try not to like take take up a lot of time um so what i've done is um taken scrapbook paper and i've got all of these really fun summer type uh pages that you can pick up really you know you can pick up a whole paper pad or you can grab um, individual sheets. So I actually went to, I have a Tuesday morning in my area. And then I also went to Hobby Lobby and picked up some pages. And so let's see here. I wanted to get a sheet so I could show you guys how to build off of it. Um, so here's an example of a sheet that is two-sided which is ideal but those usually cost a little bit more the ones that are one-sided um tend to be i don't know anywhere from like 29 cents to um you know if they're on sale again you can get them like super cheap um sorry let me try to find one here that's two sided. I'll show you the flamingo one again. Well, I don't think these are flamingos. I don't know what these birds are called actually, but I think they're pretty. So this is one sided sheet. See, I got it on Clarence for 23 cents and it's really thin. So um, I like to kind of double them up. So I'm going to end up um, folding it in half. But if you've got a double sided sheet, you can just cut it once and then your page is going to look nice because you've got two designs on each side. So let me grab my paper trimmer. And we're going to pull those measurements out again. I can find where I left it. Okay, so um, if you've got one sided sheet, this is the measurements that I use. So nine and a quarter is going to be your width, and seven inches is your height. So that's going to be like a portrait size. So when you're thinking about if you're using a pattern paper, you've got to think about placement, you know, the, and that's what's nice about a pattern because you can kind of measure out or figure out where you want that image to be. Um, this one's really busy, so I'm not going to be so concerned about the width of it. Um, but I am going to be a little bit mindful about the height. So I'm going to measure for my height, which is seven inches. And make sure we're in the frame. So on this very nice Fiskars cutter you've got your inches here and you've got inches inches on your rulers you even have it at the top so i'm going to measure at seven because this is going to be the top and the bottom and if i look at my image inside here i'm cutting off his head <laughs> so i'm going to slide it down just a little bit and start there and flip it and cut seven inches from the bottom so now my height is seven inches, and now um, I want nine and a quarter. And this one, I'm not so much concerned about what I'm cutting off because something's gonna end up in the punch, in the mushroom punch. Okay, so there's my sheet of paper, and I'm simply going to fold it in half. And I, I kind of like to line up the corners first and then finish it off. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue those pieces together. Just so I have a nice clean closure. And I don't do all four sides because this is the one that's going to go through the punch. And I just want to make sure that my, my punch doesn't get like sticky or anything. 
Okay, and then line it up between the lines. And then you've got your holes and then you can stick it in the planner. Um, for this one, since it's two-sided, I only need to do the seven inches in height again. This pattern's super busy. I don't think I need to figure out like where not to cut off heads. So I'll leave that there. And then my other measurement. So again, it was nine and a quarter for the width. I want half of that. So you're gonna do four and five eighths. So I had to um I had to ask my husband how to figure out the the five eighths. So you count <laughs> the little lines. So one, two, three, four, five. And there's my five eighths. And so this is the same size. Flip it over. I've got this nice clean background that I can now decorate, which I'm going to go ahead and punch it on this side because I want to build on this um, pretty clean slate. Okay, and I like to punch them because then I know kind of like where I can build my elements. Um, so that I don't build and then try to punch it afterwards and then I'm stuck with these holes that are being covered up. So this is what you would refer to as ephemera. Um, this really was just a full sheet of scrapbook paper that they typically come and they're like just a bunch of like quote boxes. So I cut those up and you know you can glue them down build off of them. Um, one of the things that I like to do that you kind of saw on the other album is to build some interactive uh, pieces to them. So for example, these are, they're called glitter edges and I get them from the Planner Society. So these are like little scalloped edges. These are bows and I'm gonna take one of these bows and I'm gonna fix it here and then kind of show you what this does. So this probably isn't the best. Maybe this side looks better. So I'm gonna stick this down on here and um, I'm probably gonna glue this together. I'm not sure yet, but um, this was one full sheet of that 12 by 12 paper. And what I was going for is this last piece of this. You could either like stick a picture here or do like a journaling card. Um, do I still have you guys or did I lose you? It happened. I don't see your screen. Okay. I saw me. I'm watching myself as well. I saw it black out. Okay. We're back. Something's trying to download. Right. So I was saying, I was going for this journaling piece here. So I took that full, um, so this would be six inches by probably three, yeah, three inches wide. And I used the paper trimmer and I don't know if you guys this is like a, a scoring tool it's just a semi blunt uh, edge that you can score a line in the piece of paper so I just kind of lined it up into this um, cutting board you've got like a little bit of a crevice for your blade to go through and this scoring tool kind of just like puts a crease in it. Now you can fold it by hand. This just makes it a little bit more secure. And so I just um, scored it here and scored it here. So I'll probably, because the back of it 
right here is kind of ugly looking. I might like stick a picture, another piece of um, scrapbook paper over the top. In fact, I could glue this down here. And so like you could take this, you'll see this, you'll flip it up and then you'll see this piece of it. So let me go ahead and glue that down so you could really kind of get a feel for what that looks like. Um, and see when you have all these elements, you end up with stuff all over your desk and then you can't find them. Okay, I'm trying to think. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So I think I'm gonna leave a little bit at the top just so I can like add something here on the bottom, like a title or whatnot. I have this ever. That's cute. Beach hair, I don't care. That's cute. I'm gonna use that one. So I don't know if anyone like tends to go and buy like all those uh, scrapbook pads that they always have on sale at Michael's. Um, if you don't, you will now because these are the kinds of things that you can use with them. Okay, so that's what that would look like. You would, you know, use this little tab, pull it down, you see this little quote, pull it up again, and then you can insert a picture there. And then I can put that in there. Um, and then you have, you know, just these little elements here that you can just kind of add in. Um, I did print out um, a picture. So if you don't have like a photo printer, you don't need one. This is just for you. And summer has really just started for us. We haven't gone anywhere because I was sick last week over the Memorial weekend, but um, we did get a little play pool and put that up for the kids to get in. And so I just printed this on my printer. This is sticker paper that I'm gonna cut down and stick the picture in. This is just regular paper. So you can cut it, paste it in. It doesn't have to be an actual photo. You can use just regular paper and um, you could stick it in a Word document. You could resize it if you want, or you could just print it and like cut it down so that it fits in your planner um, or in your little memory keeper album. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up a little bit. I don't need all the hideous dirt. I live in Arizona. It's hard to keep grass. <laughs> We have dirt in our backyard. Okay. I'll take this. No, I don't know if I can get the packing off the sticker. That's essentially the idea. So let me glue this down first. And I'll put this one down first. And I can kind of cover up some of that hideous dirt in the background. And there we go. So like this could be my starting page. I, you know, I can journal about, you know, starting the summer, we bought a pool, a little play pool, put it up in the back for the kids. And I can put like a, a big sticker date of, um, so like if I wanted to do a June daily or a summer daily or something like that, I could um, take some of my date stickers. Um, this was, 
I don't remember what date, but you kind of get the, the idea. I mean, I've got some summer vacation stickers in here and you can just go crazy. Same, same that you do in your planner, you can do the same thing in um, these little memory albums. Um, let's see. Uh, I just wanted to show like, I've got this cool vibes um, die cut from Chrissy's shop that I can stick in here. That looks really pretty on that side. Um, I ordered um, some charms from a shop called Ch Charming Planner. And she always puts these real pretty, um, I don't know, like confetti things. And so you can kind of glue those into there, to kind of dress it up a little bit. Things like that. Um, what else did I want to share? Um, these were really popular for a little while at um, Target. These uh, little pockets, these uh, clear pockets. So um, you can, like, if you, you know, print out pictures, but you don't have time to stick them into the planner or create the pages, you could. Um, I don't know if I want to do that there. I'm going to do it on this side. You could stick it into the planner and you could use it to keep, you know, any kind of memorabilia, any extra pictures that you have, any kind of stickers that you want to hold on to. So maybe I'll just stick her, you know, her die cut in there. Um, this was a dashboard that I got from one of the mini happy planner uh, happy notes. I've got some filler paper so that if I wanted to do any journal keeping, I could do that in there. Um, but that's kind of the starting pieces of it. And again, you can go super crazy with it. Um, my plan is to um, take some letters and put like summer, you know, 2022. Um, these I got at the dollar store. These are from Planner Society. Um, I've got like, I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday. They had these really pretty, like, I don't know, I don't know what these are called, but they're like glossy, puffy bows, some bling, some sparkle. Um, We've got, you know, obviously you can't forget about happy planner stickers, happy summer. So you could do your bucket list in these albums and keep everything there, check them off. Um, I haven't really dug into this happy memory keeping, but this one I really want to use the um, photo frames, you know, like these. So you can, you know, cut your picker, pictures down to that size, stick them in the planner, memory album, whatever you want to call it. Um, lots of, I've thrown a lot of ideas at you and I have a big mess here now. So <laughs> I'll pause here. Is there anything you want to see? Anything you have questions about? Um, there's another, sheet with like little fun stickers, scrap of paper stickers that you can use. I would love to see a pocket if you could put one of those together. Yes, yes, okay. yes, absolutely. Let's see. Oh, that's Can funny. That thing. <laughs> um, let me see what I could use. I'm gonna grab another sheet. Oh, I like these popsicles. These are so cute. All right. Okay. So considering that your page size, again, is a width of four and five eighths, I want to cut it so that I've got 
you know, some room around the side. So I think I'll do like maybe three and five eighths so that, um, again, I can see a little bit of the corners. Amy wants to know if that's single or double-sided. This one is double-sided. It doesn't have to be though. You're just gonna choose whatever size um, that you want to make your, whatever, what, whatever side of the pocket that you wanna see. Okay, so this is gonna be my pocket. I'm gonna take my circle punch and I like to turn it around so that I could see um, where it's going to punch. And I think that's about centered. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's your, no, your planner. And that's a little too wide, so I'm gonna cut that down. And I can give you guys some measurements on a pocket if that helps you. Make it a little bit smaller. And I don't wanna throw like a bunch, a bunch of supplies at you because, you know, it can get a little pricey after some time, but I was a scrapbooker before I became a happy planner. So I have a lot of things, but a lot of these elements too, you can pick up at the dollar store. And I, I wanted to go today, I never made it, but I keep seeing online that um, the dollar store is starting to carry like little planners and discs and more sticker kits and things like that. But um, they have a really good craft section. So this is like um, strips of adhesive. And I like, I like to use these because they're really strong adhesive. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, line the edges. So Ben, you're gonna screw down one? Uh, you're gonna screw down one? Yeah. And the point is that he want the sides to stick, but you're gonna slide something in. This is gonna be your pocket area. So I'm gonna take Backing. Sometimes they're a little stubborn. Okay. And let me think about where I want it. This is going to be an actual album I'm going to use. I'm going to go on the side glasses here. Push that down and then let me find something to stick in that pocket. I need something semi small. So I'll just use one of these from Simply Gilded. It's like a sampler card. So, see, so you can stick it in and you'll feel like once you stick it in there, you'll see where it kind of stops. And this notch just makes it so that you can pull that piece out of the out of the pocket. And then you can find a really cute sticker to stick on top of it. Um, I don't know if this one says beach happy. Pool party. I mean, you get the idea. You can really dress it up, make it fun. Uh, where's that sheet of stickers? So, hello, summer. You can tie in the sunglasses again. And again, you could stick like pictures in there, ephemera, you know whatever that you want to use. But there you go.
any other questions? I can't see comments. Christy, I'll defer to you if you see any other questions. We've got people that are just saying how cute it is and okay. how awesome. <laughs> We've got a comment that says, this is an awesome way to use what you have. Love all those odds and ends. Yes, it is. It's a good way to um, have another purpose for your stickers than just putting them in your planner. And um, I love to follow, um, I think it's Desiree, happy to plan with Desiree. She has a new video out. She was showing how to use scrapbook paper in your planner. And so... This is the reverse of that. How to use stickers and things like that inside um, a memory keeper, a memory album. To me, this is like scrapbooking. You know, it's just not on a 12 by 12 uh, sheet of paper. It's not in a ring binder, which is, is some of the, the more traditional type way of um, memory planning. This just makes it a, a little bit more fun. And, you know, smaller hand you know smaller to handle so that you're not having to decorate this full 12 by 12 page you can you know reduce it down to what is this by like a five by seven type of sheet and if you're printing basic four by six photos they're going to fit in here really easy so your picture essentially could take up most of the page and then you don't have to decorate it um, a full page folder so full page folder, like the one I showed you with the notch at the top. Kind of like this one. I think that was the question. Um, yeah, so yeah. let's do, let's see. Let me find another sheet here. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a thicker piece so this will fold easily. Maybe I can do the popsicle thing, see if I have enough. Yeah, so I've got a height of seven. And my width is nine and a quarter. Okay, and then you have to decide. So if you've got a two-sided sheet, you got to decide which side do you want to use for your folder. I think I'm going to use um, the stripes because I've got that pocket with the popsicles already. Um, so you're going to put the inside piece facing up and you're going to line up that four and five eighths. Or, you know, you're just going to fold it in half, but I want to score it. So four and five eighths, I'm gonna take my scoring tool and score it down the middle. And be careful, sometimes it's like, like slides off the page. Um, you're gonna fold that in half. Um, you can either use this kind of tape, you can use a tape runner, since the Pocket's going to be fairly large. I don't. I don't think I need this super strong adhesive. So I'm going to secure this. Um, I don't usually glue it there, so I'm just going to glue it on the top and bottom, and fold that in half. I'm going to go ahead and punch it because I want to make sure, actually, I, I messed that up. I don't want to glue the top. You're supposed to leave the top open. I messed that part up, so let's fix it. So what I'm going to do to fix it, I messed up a lot. <laughs> I can fix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut. Uh, I'm gonna cut a strip to fill in that glue. So four, 
I was going to put this in here so that it doesn't get stuck together. So pretend that I only glued the bottom. <laughs> okay. And then um, this is going to be my side that I punch because I want a pocket. So you don't want the creased side into your punch. You want the side that you didn't glue. Okay, and now I'm going to take my little half circle. This paper is kind of thick. There we go. Okay, so now if I stick it in the planner. Now I have a pocket. And you could make it a half pocket. So if you did nine and a quarter width and then just cut like halfway into it, you could have like a folder essentially. That's basically what a folder is. You could open this up and, you know, slice it here as a curve and make it like a folder as well. So there you go. So again, it's secure at the bottom. So if I took some of Chrissy's new release stickers here, wanted to secretly tuck them away into my folder. They're in there. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> That and is so fact, smart. We, and in fact, we could, let's take this out. Let's get creative. Let me grab some scissors here and see if I could um, kind of give you that idea I was thinking of. So how convenient if this is lined, if I can get a perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece back down because it's coming up a little bit. So make sure I glue it on straight. Back, back, back in there. I feel like there's too much clutter here. You can't get the full effect. Let's put the minivans, the RVs in the front. I think that has the better aesthetic. There you go. There's your folder. And then you could, you know, put pictures. More ideas in the bag. You could stick another one of those clear pockets. I have a ton of those. Again, I got these at the dollar spot when it was like a back to school. I love these things because you could put, oh, I put it on upside down. We had a comment that says, these would be great memory folders for kids and vacation trips. Yes. Or even, um, so again, not taking credit for this idea, Sarah from Creating with Sarah. And if you go to her um, YouTube page, um, she did an album and she printed coloring pages and just like, um, and they were like eight and a half by 11. And she simply like folded it in and then punched them and put them in there. And so 
you could create a pocket like this, throw some crayons in there, print a bunch of coloring pages and um, take it on the go for your kids to color. In fact, I've um, put a small album, not an album, but just a planner together for my um, five-year-old and she's been having a blast with it the last couple of days, like literally making little scenes of stickers, um, Anna and Elsa, like going to the beach. She put little handbags on them with this big old popsicle in the hand. And, you know, just throwing a bunch of sticker sheets in there and some filler paper. Um, it's a good, fun, colorful DIY album. You could take coloring book pages, rip them out, cut them to size, stick them in the book and So, and if it gets like a little wonky, like, you know, that your pages aren't perfectly lined up, again, it's, to me, it's totally fine. It's your creation. Um, let's see. Try to think of any other ideas. Um, you know, obviously, if you have any rulers, I don't have any small rulers, but you could treat it just like a planner. Stick in anything you can think of. Um, let's see what else I have in my little container here. Yeah, that's about it. So um, you don't have a you know, a paper cutter. I really think it's a good thing to have. They, they're they fairly inexpe inexpensive, but if not a good old ruler and a pencil to measure off, cutting it with scissors, that works. Um, a tape runner and scrapbook paper and stickers. I know we all have stickers and washi tape. And this, this acetate I got um, at a Tuesday morning. It was uh, a, a pack of all these acetate covers. And I just like them because they're pretty thick. It's not as thick as a planner cover, um, but if you have a laminating machine, you know, you could take scrapbook paper, um, cut those to, to size, stick them into a lamination sheet, and then Again, cut it down to size, and that could be your cover as well. Or, you know, repurpose a Happy Planner cover. I mean, those work too. This is my current planner. And, you know, you can flip it around. Like, this inside cover would be perfect for summer. To me, it's got the same aesthetic. Um, I like to... I like to take also if you're a Simply Gilded OG subscriber, um, some of her subscription kits used to come with those B6 planners and I would um, rip the covers apart, just like cut it down the middle. They're, this happy planner is literally a B6 size. So if you use um, B6 journals or paper, it's literally the same size, you just cut them down. And so I would just take the cover cut it apart and do the same thing. And this is like really thick card stock. So you can use that as well. Um, if you have like journaling cards from different shops, this is Live Love Posh. And it's, it, again, it's thick. So you could literally just take that, punch it. You could cover it with scrapbook paper to make it the, de the design that you want. I mean, it's really, it's like a combination of junk journaling because you're reusing things that you have. Um, and then a combination of scrapbooking. I think it's just really fun. We do have a, yes. a question. Uh -huh. Okay, let me get back to it. How did you create that piece in the fall one to hold the folded paper piece down? 
so I guess in your Halloween memory that you created, there was a a folded piece of paper that you held it down. So if you're referring to this one, and I can yeah, take that one. Page off. So this was literally just a um, like a ticket stub ephemera, and I just glued this bottom piece of it. So this part is not glued down, and then you just tuck it, tuck it underneath. So in fact, I could do that with. Let's see. Do I what did I do in here? So if I did just a small piece of scrapbook paper, and you want one that's fairly thick cardstock so that, um, let's see. Um, I'll bring out my ticket stub. Well, it doesn't have to be exactly, but why not? So this is the tool that does that ticket stub. You know, like a movie ticket, you know how they have those little edges? And then I'm gonna take my really strong adhesive and again, you can find these at the dollar store. I'm just gonna just do one piece here. Okay, well. Okay, so just tuck it in. You could staple it. So if you don't have really strong adhesive, you could just get a stapler and staple some pieces here. But the idea is that you just create a little pocket for it to kind of flip into. It just makes it kind of fun. And let's see, we can kind of flip through this one more time to see what else there was. Um, and these are, you know, these are just tags. Um, again, if you get any of those uh, paper pads from the scrapbook store, they'll usually have like a whole sheet of um, the square type or sometimes they'll have these tags or you can make a tag out of any of these elements. You just um, kind of cut it down. It's gonna be kind of a rough cut, but corners. And again, this is, you don't have to have all these tools. You don't have to make it an actual tag, but I have a, um, I have a punch that will punch a hole in here. Um, if you don't have one, you can use what you have. I'm gonna cut this, cut this, fold this in half. I have a stapler here. Hopefully I have staples in it. And make a tag. And then the pocket that we created, and the other planner. Now you can make a tag. And you could stick a picture on the other side, or if it was blank on the other side, you could do some journaling. And so it's so it's like if you for sharing the album with some somebody and they may not be so aware of like oh you you know you pull the tag out the the point is that you're inviting them 
to be interactive with the album by creating tags and pockets and things like that. But, you know, some people may just pull it out. Oh, there's a picture. But if you wanted to journal, but you don't want it to be so evident that you've written something on it, you know, it's kind of a, like a hidden message in the back of it. Um, and you can put, you know, you could put ribbon as your tag piece. Um, this one was um, just that two tags. They were side by side. And I, instead of cutting it in half, I just kept it intact and scored it and made it kind of like a book. And this one, I don't know if you can see, I, I stapled it. I think I originally glued it, but it was coming up, so I ended up stapling it. And this is just a tag stapled. This is just, you know, a little uh, sheet of scrapbook paper that I made it into a little booklet. So you make them fold either way. I'm not sure where that is. We had a comment that said, reminds me of those pop up books I loved as a child. So fun and love the interaction. Oh, oh great. Yeah. I only let my kids look at it once. <laughs> I don't want them to, to destroy it. <laughs> but yeah, same concept for sure. Awesome. Are there any more questions? Are we good? Are you guys excited? Are you going to make one? I, I've been seriously punching and... Good. Yeah. Is anyone making them? I'd love to see. Yes. If you do make one, um, use hashtag, and I'll put this in like the chat too. Use hashtag June. Let's let's do just darky June. That's simple. That way we can see all of them. Oh, that would be great. Just turkey did, it, did anyone make one with us that they want to share? I'm pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I did one in um traveler's notebook. Oh yeah. Yeah, it definitely doesn't need to be on disc either. I mean, any type of format that you have. Yeah, there you go. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Lisa, will you show that again, please? Oh, cute. Oh, I like your little tab, like your tag at the top. Yeah. <laughs> Amy said, can we talk about how you organize your craft room for a moment? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I have a video. Um I haven't edited and put it together, but yeah, sure. What do you want like a quick Chrissy? It's I mean, I don't want to take up more time, but do you want like it's I mean it's kind of clean. Do we want like a quick look around, I guess? <laughs> Well, here, let's, let's finish this so I can end okay. the recording part and sure. then we'll just transition over into hangout time. So this, like I said, this will be like the end, like the official end of the class portion. So if you want to hang out, I'll have the Zoom, Zoom open until nine. Mm -hmm. um, we just try and keep it planner related, really light and fun, keep it PG rated. Um, yeah, so, but thank you so much, Stacey, for showing us your awesome memory keeper that you, what, what do you call it? Memory keeper. Um, I 
a memory, like a memory album. Memory my, album. Yeah, memory album on disc. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think that's the part that's unique is that it's on disc. Right. Okay. It'll be on the YouTube. So I'll have a link in the group. If you're not already in the Planner Besties group, I'll include the link in the chat, the, the Instagram chat. But thank you so much. And now you're we're welcome. cut it off and it's free game. It's open. You guys can unmute. You can talk. Stacy, you can show your space and do whatever. But sure. thank you, so thank you Stacy. Thank you're you welcome, so much. everyone. Thanks for joining.